Let's think of government as an industry where countries are firms and citizens are customers. Now, other presenters here have covered what I would call cute little industries like energy and the internet. But this is the big one. This is the biggest industry in the world, about $20 trillion a year. The largest firm had 2010 revenues of over $2 trillion. But here's the strange thing. This is also an industry that's legendary for poor performance. That leading firm, the United States, on $2 plus trillion in revenue, lost over a trillion dollars. And it's one of the top companies in this field. I mean, the really bad firms actually murder their own customers. So talk about an industry ripe for disruption. I mean, it's huge, it's bad. What can we do about this? So for humanity, this is a big problem. But again, with our entrepreneur hats on, every problem is a business opportunity. And what a business opportunity. A startup country could be the world's first trillion dollar business. The problem is right now there's no way for an entrepreneur with a great idea about a startup country to make it happen. Unlike the software industry where you can get started with just a laptop, the barrier to enter the government industry is that you need a place that allows physical exp experimentation, political experimentation in a physical place. But there is no such place. Every piece of land in the world is claimed, and attempts at local independence are met with brutal violence. So there's no channel for peaceful innovation in no startup countries which is how we come to my vocation of seasteading. What we need, as Peter Thiel said yesterday, is a new physical frontier, a blank canvas for experiments.